All right, we'd like to talk a little bit about how to protect your stainless steel grill from the elements, from rust and getting nasty outside. Because when you buy a new grill like this is, and I'm not gonna grill in the house, but it looks so nice, so what do you do? First thing I recommend is build it inside your house. Make sure you can roll it outside the door. Most of them do have dimensions where you can get outside the door. But by building it in the house, um, you can take your time, and then once you build it, you can put the things I'm gonna to recommend to help protect it. And just like a car, if you can wax it and it let it sit for days, hours at least, but days, it has a tendency to set better and seal better on the surface. So the first thing you wanna do is, when you're picking out a grill, you want a grill that doesn't do what I'm about to show you, okay? You'd think it'd be the opposite. You'd think stainless steel, you'd want it to, a magnet to stick on it. But actually, when you get a stainless grill that has different combination of metals, you actually want it not to attract a magnet. Um, if it attracts a magnet, it's gonna be more prone to rust. So you can see this magnet, or maybe not, but you can see it, it does stick to it. This is not the kind of surface you want. Um, this was by accident. This one was on sale. Um, it's hard to find an infrared tube burner for $200, under 200 bucks. This one was right at under 200, normally 270. Um, it's a char grill, char grill, true infrared. Um, it basically has the same burners, but how the burners are covered is different. I like this one because it has a pan in it and um, I'll do another video showing about that. But anyways, what you first want to do once you build your grill is um, clean, put a nice, just get you a real good car wax. Um, you can get one that has carnauba if you want or a synthetic um, formula. One that has a long lasting protection. And you put it on just like you would on a car. Use one cloth to put it on, let it dry, and then use a dry cloth to take it off. And I would recommend doing that at least two times. Cover all the surfaces of your stainless. Um, make sure that you cover the sides of it. And the front a lot of times has a door. This one has a stainless door. Some stainless grills even have stainless tops here. Um, I was glad this one didn't because this is where your food or, or plates are going to go and I just didn't want stainless on that. Um, I prefer really as little stainless as possible, but I do like the stainless on the, on the grill cover. The handle is very important to do too, especially around the junctions. They tend to rust a lot. Water tends to accumulate. It's not necessary to do the inside and probably a better idea not to do the inside. If you do the inside, make sure, and this is a good idea with any gas grill, to have a burn-in period of at least 10 to 15 minutes to burn off any kind of toxins, any kind of um, coatings that may be on the porcelain grates or oils or anything on the grill. So when you have a brand new grill, be sure to break it in. So after you do the wax and you take it off two or three coats um, then the most common thing and the, one of the best things to do is to take some olive oil and take a, a cloth and just put a nice coat of olive oil over yes over the wax you've got a wax coating the olive oil then is going to put another coating on it um, and then since you have it inside let it sit a day or two if you can and then let it make sure it seeps into this because as I was talking about the magnet, when you have more of a steel composition, um, there's going to be actually pores in the metal and that's what's going to adhere or the, the moisture is going to get into. Even if you keep it covered, a lot of moisture gets underneath the cover. So you want to make sure that that wax and then the oil puts a nice protective coating on top of it. And this you want to do periodically, um, preferably of course when the grill is cooled off and then um, do it at least you know, a couple times a year and that'll keep your stainless grill very nice and shiny and, and prevent the rust from getting on it. Um, if you prefer to use 
a stainless steel cleaner protector. They sell these for um, at the Home Depot, Lowe's, or any place like that, Target. They, these are used for um, like kitchen um, appliances, refrigerators, and things like that. Again, only use this on the exterior of your grill. And um, I, this is um, kind of optional. I think that the olive oil is better and also um, it goes on nice and smooth. And then, of course, you want to keep your grill covered outside. It's a good idea, too, to have a grill cover that has a vent somewhere on it. Um, usually it's at the bottom just because a lot of moisture uh, accumulates underneath that grill cover. So that's how to keep your stainless steel grill in top, tip top condition and looking nice and new. And of course, as far as the inside, you want to make sure that you keep the um, grates nice and clean. And one easy way to do that is to use a nylon brush. The metal can be dangerous. The little metal things can come off and actually lodge inside your uh, intestines. And that, that can be dangerous. So preferably nylon, only use it when it's cold. And then after you finish cooking, it's a good idea. This one actually has a, a function on the knob that says clean. It's actually just a high setting for five minutes, five to seven minutes. Leave your grill on high. It'll use a little bit of gas, but it'll get all, all the things inside, the grates and everything, nice and clean. So, 73s and happy grilling.